Welcome back everyone, this is j 7 js bringing you my remake builds video for Melidal. She doesn't get as much love when compared to the other special knights as she joins the party very late, and in the original game monsters are immune to her skills, but I think she should get more love at least in the War of the Lions remaster, as her abilities now work on monsters, which makes her a lot more well rounded and deadly. So this first setup for her is one I made a while back. It was an all-purpose one that is versatile in all situations from the hardest random battles to rendezvous missions. For your equipment, use Chaos Blade as it's by far the strongest knight sword in terms of weapon power, then Reverie Shield as it will be more useful against some of the strongest monsters like Tiamats and Greater Hydras, as it will reduce their Tri Thunder and Tri Flames by half. Then equip Ribbon in her helm slot. A lot of the stronger enemies can inflict negative status ailments, which can be really annoying and even cause game overs. Then use Grand Armor for permanent re-raise and Brigand's Glove. For her abilities, the best secondary will be Darkness. Even though Unyielding Blade works on monsters, enemies with Safe Guard won't be affected by her unique skills. Dark Knight abilities will allow her to attack at range and is a great substitute. Then equip Shida Hadori, Attack Boost, and Move Plus 3. With this build, you'll be doing very high damage while being near invincible. The only thing you'll have to worry about is other Divine Knights, and also don't forget to increase your bravery to 97 and have a lower faith stat if you don't like using magic. If she is your favorite female character and not Ivelisse's next top model, Tyner Rouge is the best accessory you can give her and I'll show you some other build variants. For her true invincible build, you'll equip virtually the same items, just sub Reverie Shield for Scutcheon 2, and use Taina Rouge. Then for her abilities, instead of Shida Hadori, you Soulbind and put on Safeguard. Nothing should be able to outright kill you other than perhaps 3 Tri Thunders or Delita in Brave Story. But that is what Grand Armor is for, as you will have permanent re-raise. For her third variant, it's a tank build. Just equip Reverie Shield, Defense Boost for your support ability, lower her faith to 3, and she will be able to tank hits from the strongest of enemies as Defense Boost and Protect stack. Another tank setup if you'd rather not use Tyner Rouge is to equip Lordly Robe and Brigand's Glove. You won't have as much PA and HP, but you'll still be able to do more than enough damage and tank hits. If you'd rather not grind for Darkness, or you're playing on the PS1 version of the game where Mighty Sword can't hit monsters, you can always give Melido dual wield and put two Night Swords on her. For this first build, give her two Chaos Blades for maximum damage, then Ribbon, Lordly Robe, and Sep Chim. Then for her abilities, Items, Shida Hadori, Dual Wield, and Move Plus 2. Use Mighty Sword versus human enemies, and attack with Dual Wield Knight Swords versus monsters, or versus foes with Safe Guard. Another excellent setup is to use Excalibur for her second Knight Sword, then equip Genji Armor and Bracer. It won't do as much damage, but it will be more than enough for most fights. If you want her to be invincible in this version of the game, equip Chaos Blade or Excalibur, Escutcheon 2 or Venetian Shield, Ribbon, Lordly Robe or Maximilian, and Chantage. Then for her abilities, any secondary, damage split, maintenance, and move HP up, or move plus 2. She will be able to handle any enemy in the game as nothing can outright KO her, and her items can't be broken. Additionally, she is immune to all negative status ailments and has permanent re-raise from Chantage. If you want a simple and easy build you can use as soon as you get her, Give her Power Garb and slowly increase her bravery with Ramza's Steel or Cheer Up ability to 97 and get her move plus 1. Even though it's very basic, she will be a very strong party member to help you get through the game. Now it's time to show something a bit more unique, which is the Dragoon Jump build I made for her a little while back as a tribute to her brother Izalud. It's actually a strong build for her as she can equip Pole Arms and her Divine Knight, but I found that even with Chaos Blade equipped, her jumps were still doing very good damage. What you want to do is to obviously have jump as your secondary ability, then I personally like Mana Shield or Dragon Heart. Equip Change and Mana Font. Equip items that will give you speed if possible, so equip either Chaos Blade or Javelin 2, Venetian Shield, any Helm or Ribbon, and then Ninja Gear and Brigand's Glove are best. However, if you are on the PS1 version of the game, use Sprint Shoes instead for your accessory. In battle, just pick a target you want to jump on, and you'll do very strong damage. If you are facing off against a lot of monsters on the PS1 version, you can just start the battle with the spear if you want. In random battles versus monsters, use equip change to switch out your knight sword for a spear to unleash devastating jump damage. Even with knight swords equipped, 
you'll still be seeing pretty good numbers as the jump damage formula is PA times weapon power, but with the spear, it's an extra 50% increase. So equip a spear for best results. Last, but certainly not least, I need to include a fun and gimmicky build if you want to just mess around with. It's a crossbow build as your Divine Knight job can equip it. So equip the best crossbow you can get, which is Gash Graffiti's, then Venetian or Reverie Shield, Grand Helm or Ribbon, Power Garb, and Bracer. Then for her abilities, use Aim, Mana Shield, Attack Boost, and Mana Font. This is some of the strongest crossbow damage you will ever see, but it's also probably my second worst build right behind my Arithmetician book build. Just don't use it in more challenging fights. These are all my builds I like to use on Melidal. I really like using her in my party as her stats are solid, she can equip clothing, and she has a base move stat of 4 as well. We just gotta see what she looks like without the hood on. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time with more FFT videos. Take care.